I'll start with a question. How many of you are, would you say, you are a go-getter and achiever? Raise your hand. Perfect, perfect. And those of you that haven't raised your hand, you just don't know that about yourself, but you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. It's that simple. So how many of you achievers have failed? Absolutely. So fear is a very natural reaction, right? It's we experience fear or greed as two basic emotions around money. We don't like to admit that we're greedy, but we are, right? And we don't oftentimes like to admit that we fear, and we do. So fear and failure are very common to all of us, and they will continue to be. It doesn't matter if you're going to you know, be a millionaire, billionaire, if you're going to always operate within 10,000s or hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is going to be there. It doesn't go away. So the best advice that I could give to anyone is to change your relationship to failure. Change your relationship to failure. Start thinking of failure as a stepping stone to success. If you speak to successful people, if you really look at your own life, there has not been a single success, something that you have accomplished that along the way didn't have some failure. Something didn't work out. Something outside of you came in, in a way into play. Change your relationship to failure. Embrace the failure as something good. Look, you only fail when you're pursuing something. You truly do. If you're sitting at home eating bonbons, you don't want life to be about anything, you're not going to fail. But who wants to live that life? Come on. So change your relationship to failure. Very good, Alona. Very good. Valerie. Fear. Fear. False expectations appearing, appearing real. My mother told me that years ago. Fear, F-E-A-R, false expectations appearing real. Second thing, rear view mirror story I told you I would tell you. What happens if your car has a rear view mirror? Look in the rear view mirror, what does that mean? You know where you came from. What happens if you look in the rear view mirror for too long? You won't know what you run into. We're positive here. We're not thinking, no, you're gonna crash. We're thinking, you're gonna run past opportunities. You're so busy looking in the rearview mirror, you're driving past opportunities. Forward thinking. The other thing, be consistent. If you're making this change, and you say you're recalculating your relationship with your money, be consistent. If you find you aren't doing it consistently, get back on track and be consistent, because consistency pays off. One of the things that uh, sister CEO Cheryl had said was, you know, sell what you have. <laughs>